Hey there everyone, it's autumn here in New England and our horse show season is over. So on the off season, it is a great time for us to get back to working on some of our basics and make sure that we don't have any holes in our training. So I wanted to do a quick video for you today to talk about the mechanics of the walk trot and the canter. We're gonna get some cool footage, slow motion footage, so you can really study each gait and the footfalls of each gait to improve not only your understanding of your horse's gaits, but hopefully improving the timing of your aids in the future. Okay, so we're gonna get started today. If you think that this video will benefit you, please give me a thumbs up. And we're gonna start here with Kaylee and Fergus, and we're gonna go ahead and look at Fergus's walk to start. So you should notice that the walk is a four beaded gait each foot falls independently of the other. So as Fergus is walking around, you can kind of look and see the four beats. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One thing that you should note is if you can look at your horse's shoulders while you're riding, you can look down and you can see when that inside shoulder is coming back and when the outside shoulder is coming back, so you know when the inside shoulder is all the way back towards your toe that your horse's inside hind is coming up off the ground and forward to meet that front foot. So you can see by looking in this video that Fergus's inside feet come together to create a V at one moment. And the same is true for the outside gait. So his outside shoulder's all the way back his inside hind leg is coming off the ground to meet it and creates a V. Okay, so that's the walk. So take a look at Kaylee while she's walking on her horse. Now we know what the feet are doing. So what it should feel like when you're riding is you're gonna keep your nice riding position, head, shoulder, hip, and heel. Your hips are relaxed. Your legs are nice and long and draped down around the horse so that your hip follows the motion of the horse's back as he walks. One other thing to note about the horse's walk is that their head and neck move quite a bit while they're walking. So you wanna make sure that you keep your shoulders soft, those shoulders joints nice and soft, so that your arm follows the movement of the walk. All right, so that's your walk. Make sure you take your time to study that. Really take your time. We'll take a moment just to be quiet and watch and maybe get some good slow motion. Good, and then Kaylee can go ahead and we'll move on to the trot. So she's just gonna give him a little squeeze up into trot. Uh-oh, Fergus needs a break. <laughs> All right, try again, nice into the trot. All right, so our trot is a two beat gait. It's called a diagonal gait. And we went over the two beat trot in our first riding lesson, um, first or second riding lesson in the video series. But the reason we call it a diagonal gait is because you'll notice that the inside front and the outside hind are off the ground at the same time and vice versa. The inside hind and outside front are off the ground at the same time. So you can see when Kaylee is rising up on her correct posting diagonal, she's following that outside shoulder forward. So she knows when she's all the way up out of the saddle, when she's posting on the correct posting diagonal, that not only is her horse's outside front foot off the ground, but his inside hind foot is also off the ground. So that is a really good time for Kaylee to add a little bit of leg if she needs a little bit more bend or a little bit more go from her horse. And you notice that the horse's head and neck stays a little bit quieter, a little bit stiller in the trot than it did at the walk. 
So we'll just be quiet. We'll watch this trot a little bit in slow motion. And if you haven't already seen my series of training videos, you should go back and find the video about posting trot. So um, you can see a little bit more in detail about this gate in particular and about your posting. Okay, thank you, Kaylee. Now, Fergus does have a lovely canter, but I thought I would canter on a spree here today because she has such a dynamic hind leg. And in the canter, there is a moment of suspension when the horse's forefeet are all off the ground at the same time. So I thought that in the slow motion um, portion of this video, I'm hoping that you'll be able to really see that with, with a spree. Okay, so like I mentioned about the moment of suspension, a horse's canter gait is supposed to be three beats, all right? And the way the legs work when the horse is cantering is they're gonna pick up the canter from the outside hind first. Then the outside front and inside hind leg will be on the ground. Then the third beat is the lead leg, the inside front leg hits the ground. And then after that leg hits the ground is when you get that moment of suspension. So outside hind first, outside front, inside hind second, inside front is the third, then the moment of suspension. The horse picks up their canter from the outside hind. So I'm gonna get a spree cantering. And you're gonna watch your feet and then you're gonna try watching me to see how my body reacts to each footfall. So when our outside hind pushes off the ground, you're gonna see my body come a little bit forward. In the second beat, my body will be straight up and down. And in that last third beat where her lead leg is hitting the ground, you'll see my body come a little bit back. All right, so here we go. We'll get, let's be paying attention. Come on, buddy. Outside, hind, outside front, inside hind, lead leg hits, and you notice that my body comes forward, straight, and back, depending on what leg is on the ground. So be quiet, and watch a little slow mo. Okay, so that last one was a little bit more complicated, but hopefully that was helpful. Take your time watching this video. Do yourself a favor and make sure that you really do understand the footfalls of each of your horse's gates. It will only help you in the future to become a better rider and a better partner for your horse. So if you liked this video, thought it was helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you find my free video series on there and share this with a friend. Thanks for watching.